Well, all right, y'all. Uh, all across the USC, Compton, Watts, Bay to LA. From on to California, from valley to valley, we represent that killer Cali. So if you keeping it real on your side of your town, you tune in to Gangsta Chronicles. Gangsta Chronicles, we gon' tell you how it goes. Uh, if I lie, my nose will grow like Pinocchio. We gon' tell you the truth and nothing but the truth. Ooh. Gangsta Chronicles, this is not your average show. You're now tuned in to the real MCA, Big James, and Big Stair. This is strictly from the streets. Hello. Yeah, you know, and that's scary to think, man, that they got that much power. Because we was talking to a cat um, last week on our last show that used to be in law enforcement. And he was telling me how they do the, what's the, what's the thing called, what they do with the phones? Geofencing. The, the geofencing and all that to where they can pretty much lock down a perimeter here and everything that everybody talk about. Yeah, no, 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 it's real shit. You know what I mean? A lot, a lot of people hear this and, and you know, it'd be hard for them to believe that, that these motherfuckers operate like this, right? It it, it, it almost sounds like some uh easy bake oven shit to a lot of niggas that that hadn't uh don't know how these people really work. So but it but it's real, you know what I mean? They work this way and you know, like in retrospect, when you when you look at this 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 clown by the name of Chad Scott, this DEA agent that was on in a in a cut list. He was in a cut list. So, you know what I mean? He had all this shit on. And and today, what, 10 years, 12 years or whatnot after all of that, because, you know, as everybody know my story, you know, I end up talking to Congresswoman Maxine Waters. Now, you know, I, she's an angel to me, right? Because no, none of these politicians out here in Texas, you know what I mean? They, they would have let, they would have, they would have sit back and let me die. You know what I mean? But Congresswoman Maxine Waters, uh, you know, had enough heart to uh, at least hear me because here was my thing, right? My thing was, okay, it's real clear to me that y'all are trying to hit me. So I don't want y'all to be upset if I come out on top. I want to put this on notice, you know, the best way I possibly could to uh, to be able to be free if I came out on top. Because I understood what you was trying to do with me. So Congresswoman Maxine Waters uh, spoke up to me in places, spoke up for me in places where uh, a lot of these, you know, politicians wouldn't. You know what I mean? Because she saw what was about to take place. That's deep, man. Thank God for sisters like her, man. Right. And, and you know that's that's another thing that you talk about. You know, you said Maxine Waters came to your um, rescue, man. That's what I always sit up and talk to these brothers about, man. We need more leaders to emerge from our community, man. Whether it's black men or black women, for situations like that. Because right now, you know, you figure we got, you know, Minister Farrakhan, and he's eighty years old. Where's the next yeah. dude at? Everybody can't. Everybody can't be the basketball player. Everybody can't be the rapper. Everybody can't go get a podcast. But you can put yourself, like you said, knowledge of power. You can put yourself to school, man, and come back and be a great service to your community. Yeah, yeah. Now that's real talk, man. And and again, you know what I mean. I, uh, you know, she's an angel. You know what I mean. She's she's in her eighties right now, but she. Got more 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 nuts than am man I ever met, uh, politician wise. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you know I I was in that room when she took a stand and, and let them know, okay, right is right, wrong is wrong, and he ain't by himself. You know what I mean? And and I'm not gonna sit back and allow y'all to execute. You know what I mean? This thing that you know you're trying to do because here's a man like this Schumacher guy had like eight to ten bodies, you know what I mean, that he had been down, right? This is this is something that's highly unusual for any one officer to have killed that many people and still on the situation. <laughs> you know yeah, what I you mean? Look, so he so, had ten so, bodies on his belt? Oh, for sure eight. You oh, know what man. I mean? So, you know, I, I just happened to... Uh, to figure out how, since since I was on the investigation, I decided to investigate them. 
Right. You know what I mean? And, and that's something we have to know. When you're on the investigation, that ain't got to be a one-way street. You know what I mean? You can investigate whoever is, you know what I mean? Especially if they're trying to fuck with you and they're trying to charge you. You what? should know what your enemy is about. Hey, Jay, know? so how did you do that? How do you investigate the law? I want to know this. How the fuck do you? I mean, how we start this? Now, this is some good shit. How do you investigate the law? Yeah, I, hired, I hired the best investigator. Okay. Team there you go. Down here in Houston, right? Right. I tapped into the best one, man. I, I forgot his name, but uh, yeah, I, I got the best one. And, and bam, I let him know that he is this man that's, you know, trying to do this to me. I need to know his history. You know what I mean? Because it, it's re- it was real clear to me, homie, uh, from from the messages that he was sent, sending me that, you know, he wasn't a law-abiding citizen. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Even being a police, right? And this is this is part of, of us thinking outside of the box, and it's a part of uh, not being in fear when, when these people are, you know, breaking rules and different shit themselves then we got to shine a spotlight on them because that's what they're trying to do to us, put a spotlight on us to kill us off. Then it, it, that's a two-way street if, for those that's not in fear and in bondage. Exactly. Where they so that slowed the process when you did that. Okay. I mean, because they look at us, they look at us as ignorant. They look at us as ignorant anyway. Right. So for you to have the knowledge to turn the to turn the same shit back on them as that they portray to you, uh, probably put their ass in shock. Because, like I said, on that's the first thing they think when they look at brothers from the neighborhoods. They think we're so unintelligent and un- uneducated to their laws and what they can do and what they can't do. They just take us for typical, like I said, undereducated brothers to think that we would turn around and turn the flashlight back on their ass in the same manner what probably was the biggest motherfucking shock and surprise to their ass they ever saw. Like, who the fuck this motherfucker think he is? Well, see, they know we are so used to saying... Or accepting whatever they throw at us. Exactly. We get pulled over, we and don't the think first we thing win. they do is ask us some stupid shit like, you don't know your laws and shit, so you get caught up because the first thing you do is you get intimidated when you see that badge and that gun because... Let's face it, a motherfucker coming out the neighborhood with a racial profile like that, you automatically know these motherfuckers going to take me down for something or it's going to be a problem instead of educating yourself to know the laws and the positions that we can be in. So, shit, that's like a victory for us and shit, learning the game of investing. No, fuck it. I can investigate you as a citizen. Fuck it. From the streets to the yard, (laughs) to the boulevard, gangster when I write y'all <laughs> All across the USC, Compton, Watts Bay to LA From on to California From valley to valley We represent that killer Cali So if you keeping it real on your side of your town You tune in to Gangster Chronicles Ew. Gangster Chronicles We gon' tell you how it goes uh, If I lie, my nose will grow like Pinocchio We gon' tell you the truth and nothing but the truth Ew. Gangster Chronicles this is not your average show. You're now tuned into the real MCA Big James and Big Stale. This is strictly from the streets. Hello. We represent the G's. Uh, you know we represent the G's. Never know one of these. Gangsters, hustlers, players on the car. Tune in like every week. If you want to hear the real, well, you didn't come to the right spot. Gangster Chronicle.